<laughs> Where are we at, baby? In Hot Springs, Arkansas, Granny's Kitchen. Any restaurant with Mardi Gras beads in the window is okay by me. Is it yummy? Uh, it was 80 degrees in Dallas, at least 80, maybe 90, maybe a, uh, 120. Not that sure. <laughs> But today, uh, we're only, you know, like a little bit north, uh, not too far, uh, not too far north. Today in Hot Springs, Arkansas, uh, a town known for hot springs, it's like in the 40s, man. It's cold. I don't understand it. They say the water is 143 degrees when it comes out of the earth, so maybe that'll help us warm up. bathhouse at Hot Springs National Park. This whole place was put together in 1915, right? And they always say that people were smaller uh, previous generations ago. So I just want to demonstrate exactly how small they were. This is, this is a dressing room right here. I'm just going to enter this. Okay, hang on a minute. <laughs> I can barely <laughs> squeeze myself. It isn't just a weight, a, a waist issue either. I can like, I can see you over. I mean, I'm gonna bump like that. They were tiny. Ah, ah. Our ancestors were small. And the water oh! down at 134 degrees. At 43 in the brochure. No, that's at 34. I can see from signs. There's steam rising up on this water here, straight out of the ground. Let's find out exactly how hot this is. <laughs> oh, oh man, that's hot. And there's a lot of things here that happened that were the predecessing machines for therapy, like e-stim and um, rowing machines. They have wooden dumbbells, and they use what they called Indian clubs, which is what we use for juggling nowadays. It was supposed to build up your muscles. Let me get some Indian clubs for my patients out. <laughs> now, what I'm not sure about those Indian clubs is, are you supposed to beat the patient? into having muscles. You know, I got a lot of muscles just by doing some beating myself. We're in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Cool college town. Uh, Bill Clinton lived here once. Where didn't he live? Nice little uh, food truck park here. Getting some hot chicken. And when did you open up? Uh, July 1st last year. What made you bring hot chicken to uh, Fayetteville, Arkansas? Uh, I'm from Nashville, so my, I lived there almost my entire life. My wife's family is from here, and we moved back in February of last year, and uh, we knew hot chicken wasn't here, uh -huh. Nashville style, so I put it here. Ah, <laughs> oh, baby, you getting this? Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, I've been uh, addicted to hot chicken uh, since I first learned about it. I've gotten my brother hooked on to hot chicken. In fact, I once bet him $1,000 that he wouldn't eat the, uh, the most hot chicken that was available at this one place we went to. Ended up giving him a car. That's the stuff. Right there. <laughs> That's the stuff. Can you you can smell that spice, huh? Mm, yeah. yeah, we're still in Arkansas. Uh, Fayetteville is a little bit north of uh, of Hot Springs. It's been cold all day, and you know when it's cold outside, you make it hot inside. Let's check this out. <laughs> oh man, it's delicious. Go to Dots. The man knows his stuff. Is it good? 
spicy and good, yes. Nashville hot chicken started as a revenge recipe. Uh, this, uh, this couple, they own a restaurant. Uh, the wife found out that uh, the husband was cheating on her, bared this new chicken recipe for him to eat when he came home, put all these spices into it, made it unbearably hot, ridiculously hot, uh, as, as punishment. Uh, but turns out he liked it. It turns out a lot of us like it. And that became natural hot chicken. So moral of this story is cheat on your spouse. You never know what innovations it might encourage in them. I hope she moved on and got all the revenue. Oh my God, I'm in so much pain right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is, my eyes are watering. We ordered the extra hot because we're idiots. Because we're like, oh man, we've had Nashville hot chicken. We can handle it. Oh, my mouth is on fire. <laughs> oh dear God, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Okay. <laughs> Cut.